Wood Star traffic, ultralight India, India Whiskey Alpha, taxiing into position, runway 13 for departure, Wood Star. Well, hey, how's it going? We, uh, we have a plowed runway. This is the first time we've had a plowed runway in Woodstock for a very, very long time. This is my first time on wheels on snow and ice, and it's, uh, interesting. I'm sure it'll be just fine, but try it out. I can tell you, though, the brakes aren't very effective. <laughs> All right, well, run-up is complete, nice and warm. Check the ignition. Fuel tank on both. Flight controls. Are free and correct. Nothing to do about it now, but to go flying. I'm gonna warm it up at 5,000 RPM just for a few minutes before I go. Woodstock traffic, Indy Whiskey Alpha departing 1-3, Woodstock. Gliding distance to that 
sort of drops slowly. We have a little bit of a right turn, put in a little bit of left rudder, and you can actually hold it in a stalled configuration. This is called a parachutal stall, and we're just sort of descending kind of in the flat attitude. The nose doesn't actually break. So to recover from a power off stall, you immediately go to full power and relax the stick pressure. As soon as you have your flying speed, you go back to level attitude and maintain 
your altitude or get back the altitude that you need, and then you can go back to your cruise RPM. But as you can see, stalls in this plane are very benign. I see that my phone stopped charging because it's too cold, so I'm really hoping the cameras don't cut out on me. All right, let's go down and play in the field and head back. What am I doing for gas? Oh, I got lots of gas. Oh, we should do spiral dive. That's fun. They so got some power on. You're in a spiral dive and you go, oh crap, I'm going too fast. What do you do? Power off, wings level, and then back up to the horizon. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. The other fun thing about this plane is it's liquid cooled. So because I have a thermostat on board, it keeps the engine nice and warm no matter how I'm monkeying around with the engine. I don't have to worry about shock cooling it or uh, cold seizing it whenever I get going again. I'm still careful with it because I don't want to cold season it. I mean, who knows, maybe I'd come up to a parameter where it would. Uh, but you have to worry less about it than with an air-cooled engine. Look at this, completely hands-off, feet are off the rudder in a coordinated spiral dive turn sitting right at 55 miles an hour, 4,000 RPM, absolutely stable. You can see the strings off to the left just a little bit, so I'll put just a little bit of right rudder in, straighten that out, and I can feel my body sit a little bit more comfortably in my seat then too. If you have an uncoordinated turn, you're going to feel like you're falling out of the plane, so the side that you're falling out of is the side that you put your rudder foot down, and that's going to coordinate your turn up. Oh. 